Folks, I've talked about Walter Masterson on the main show, on the Humanist Report main show before. The things that he gets people to say and do, I, I mean, this is this is a god tier troll. So this is what he tweeted out. I had a vaccine expert speak to a corn dog, and that's really all you need to know. And um, he does, in fact, accomplish this. So um, I'm against mandating vaccines. They're saying that the spike protein. There's only the only antigen is the spike protein in the um, what's it called in the the uh, Pfizer vaccine. Right. Note the so subtle what, switch. Uh, talk about that. Well, um, nobody knows anything. About <laughs> Okay, he's trying so hard to keep it together. You can tell he's about to just lose it. But she's literally talking into a corn dog. And she, <laughs> she has no idea. A vaccine expert speaking into a corn dog. <laughs> yeah, you don't, you don't know what's in it. I work as a pharmacy technician for 20 Wait, okay. So she she noticed the corn dog there, right? And she just kind of like played it off. Yeah, this is a Giga Chad move. Absolutely. I don't know what it's going to cost. Yeah, you don't you don't know what's in it. You don't know what's in it. I work as a pharmacy technician for 21 years. So, I kind of know my stuff. Farmer, so Okay, the fact that this lady works as a pharmacy technician and she's anti-vax is horrifying horrifying this is not a profession that you should be in if you are this scientifically illiterate you just talked into a corn dog lady you just talked into a fucking corn dog and you even noticed that you were talking into a corn dog like she'll look down and she's unfazed she you know she thinks it's a microphone <laughs> i'm sure she just wasn't aware to be fair obviously but i mean he, he just has a way of making people look so silly. And he doesn't really do that much. He just kind of gives them enough rope to hang themselves and lets them speak. And it's it's great. I work as a pharmacy technician for 21 years. So what, let's listen to what she's saying now besides the corn dog thing. How can they know? Injecting something that you don't know what it's going to cost. Yeah, you don't, you don't know what's in it. You don't know what's in it. I she's saying you don't know what's in it. You're a pharmacy technician. Why would you why would you say this? And she's saying this to someone who has a camera. She's saying this into a microphone. Jesus Christ. I it's just shocking, right? So there's a little bit more. I don't know if this is from uh if the corn dog lady's in here, but this is Walter Walter Masterson attending an anti-vax rally. I don't know where this is. I believe he is in L Okay, yeah, he's in LA. So we're gonna watch a little bit more of his trolling. This is just a shit show. This is a nightmare. Imagine showing up to this event as part of like the anti-vax crowd or to confront them. Either way, like you're leaving with a headache. Like this is a nightmare. Tell me what we're here for. We are here for discrimination against against people who don't wear masks. Okay. Oh wait, so this hospital so, right here. Discrimination against people who don't wear masks, because now all of a sudden, uh, anti-maskers, according to some people, should be a protected class in the United States. We are truly living in the dumbest timeline, folks. Yes. Wanted you to wear a mask? Yes. This hospital that has sick people? Yes. Wanted you to Can you believe that? <laughs> a hospital with sick people did not want to spread a communicable disease. What crazy shit? Who from Antifa wants <laughs> she, to talk? Like, that just went right over her head. 
she didn't even realize that she was getting trolled there. That's how stupid these people are. To me, my Soros check was two weeks late, and the fresh baby that I got was like already dead by the time I ate it. It had been dead for like two days, and I was like, dude, this doesn't taste as good as from when I worked at CNN. You have the antibodies. Instead of just putting the weakened version, they putting the spike protein, you had the whole virus inside you. Oh my God. That is the whole reason. We have a doctor in the house. We have a That's doctor. The whole reason you get a vaccine in the first place. How long have you been Hello? a doctor? I've not been a doctor, but I, I actually follow the science. I actually so, follow so the you, real scientists. Tell, like, me, tell like, me about all the epidemiologists and immunologists you've spoken no, to. So I know what I'll give you the, uh, the, this. At least you're wearing the American flag. I'm so wearing please, the American flag so that people know I'm a winner. He doesn't so he's hate actually, American he's actually, flag. He's, an, he's actually Antifa. Why? Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, well, I'll give I'm you actually that. Antifa. George Soros pays me to speak the truth. Just, dude, just take the Soros money, man. I believe everything but the election. That's how gullible I am as a human being. Yes, I am a white trash loser. Yeah. Anyone who holds this fucking piece of shit flag is a fucking loser. Ooh, okay, so now he's going like mask off there, right? Now he's <laughs> he's letting them know uh, because I like they kind of like uncovered him. That idiot said, "Oh, he's Antifa." No, he's trolling you, you absolute fucking idiot. He's trolling you, trying to get you to see how stupid you look, okay? And the issue is that, like, the things that that lady was uh, spouting off, like she was talking about spiked proteins, when you see, when you see, like, these misinformation websites, uh, I've seen them before. They look legitimate, right? And if you don't know any better, if you're not actually an epidemiologist, which... I don't think anyone in the chat is. I'm certainly not. Like, basically, if you go to one of these websites, um, they look legitimate and they use scientific sounding words. It's it's seemingly technical. So because of that, people think, oh, this must be legitimate. This must be a real thing. But in actuality, um, it, it's bullshit. These are hucksters who are misinforming people either for views and clicks or because they believe what they are espousing. But either way, it's it's harmful. Now he's just like ripping into him. Oh. Domestic terrorist, there you go. She's a domestic terrorist. I wonder when he found that out. Oh. I see you doing. How you doing? Hey everyone! You're an idiot. I'm an idiot? There you go. Say no to vaccine passports. They're hiding. Say no to passports in general. No more passports. Open borders. Oh, you think we're going to be dead soon? He thinks he thinks we're going to be dead soon because we took the vaccine. Do you know that everyone that's dying right now? Is, I'm working here. I, I took the vaccine because Bill Gates madness. paid me $200. Oh, how much did Soros pay you, bro? Soros was, Soros was going to pay me 150 so I had Bill Gates Venmo me. He's like memeing saying that he's taking Soros money, but this this person is unironically asking how much Soros paid because he genuinely believes that Soros paid him to be there. And how much does he pay you to like tickle his balls and shit? Take what? Tickle his balls and shit. Um, tickle Got his him. balls. That's an extra five hundred. Damn, you really Dude, just just take the Soros. <laughs> they, <laughs> they think that like this is a gotcha, like but. People on the left are not homophobic, so if you say something like that, they're immediately going to own it. Who cares? Oh my god. Walter should talk about fucking his dad or something, just to like really... That, that'll trigger him, throw him off. I don't know. But this is... Uh, you could tell this is a very low IQ individual. I don't know how he remembers to breathe. I don't know, you know how many times a day he ties his shoelaces together. Like This is truly a dumb fuck. Money. And how much do I have to pay you to crawl back up in his ball sack? Um, that's oh. $750. I'm good. Crawl back up in the ball sack, folks. Because we all know um, underneath every single set of balls, there's actually a little pouch. Like, does this person know about, like, basic... <laughs> wow. No, our best so how much? So wait, or do you want to juice for do, Venmo? Best I can do is three ninety nine. Do you want it? So three ninety nine? I'll take it. This man is going to pay me three hundred. <laughs> Just I gotta go back to this person because he's like, uh, what did he say at first? Like, um, 
hang on a second how much how much does uh george soros pay you to tickle his balls and then he answered and he's like yeah well how much does he how much does he pay you to go in his balls like <laughs> what what <laughs> holy shit 99 i'll take it this man is going to pay me 399 dollars to tickle my ball sack you're not patriots <laughs> you are not patriots I'm, I'm not a patriot no you're not how many great if you were Explain. a patriot you would stand up for america and help other americans out and not be in it for yourself okay when i see someone like this immediately my assumption like my instinct is run away because this is a crazy person and he's about to like pop off that mask and like start biting walter's neck like, you run from motherfuckers like this. They, he, like, if he lifts up his mask, we're going to see him foaming at the mouth, literally. Like, these are the ones you look out for. These are the cuckoo for Cocoa Puff motherfuckers who, uh, when you see them at rallies, you fucking run. Don't even engage. These people are downright dangerous. Like, these are psychopaths. Like, this is the type of person who, when I was canvassing, when I was, like, uh, in my early 20s, for uh, to end Don't Ask, Don't Tell... Uh, they'd like roll down their car windows and stick their head out and like tell me that I'm a sinner and I'm going to go to hell. Those people, you run away from them. You do not engage. They are, they're too far gone. Just like, look at the way he, he acts. It's just, yeah, it's like he has rabies. Like you, you can tell, like he is, this dude is uh feral. Bro, how much okay. do they pay you to say that, bro? How much do they pay you to say that, bro? Zero dollars. Wait, explain to me how I how I'm not a patriot. Because you want to not save your fellow Americans' lives. He's sh he's like shaking. Walter, don't engage. Don't engage. Uh, and first of all, he's wearing a mask, so that's I guess that's a plus, right? Um, so apparently he's or seemingly he's anti-vax but pro-mask. But this dude, this is a crazy fucker. Yes, Selena, you're you're losing brain cells. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do it to you. That's why I think we're probably done here because you're just trying to instigate. I no, I not instigate. I'm not. I'm not going to get violent or anything. I just like to make people look stupid and stuff. And people, how, how are you doing that? People out by letting you speak. <laughs> no, really? Who's looking stupid, me or you? Um, show everyone your shirt. Here's the thing: we're living in dangerous times because thousands of dogs. Oh my god. Uh, you can't troll the master troll. Y you can't. I love how this cocky little motherfucker, he stepped up to Walter and he's like, oh, I'll show this this little fucker. Everyone else is embarrassing themselves. Let me at him. And then he goes up. He's like, who looks more stupid here? Well, let me see your shirt. COVID is a scam. <laughs> this is so good. Yeah, God tier trolling. I agree. I agree with Tiggle Biddies. I love that name absolutely just god tier this is this is chad this is chad energy uh walter masterson is a sigma male and this is a beta male folks this is what a beta male looks like i wish i had my jesse lee peterson soundboard beta! doctors are being censored thousands look up america's frontline doctors america's frontline doctors .org. you get a lot of i actually spoke to them last weekend dr sherwood dr sherwood that's right naturopathic doctor and they're all full of shit <laughs> why do you say that we treated people in a way that was very natural with food-based products no, so the, the people that are like being censored they're being censored because they're like quack doctors that shouldn't have licenses. Yeah, thousands of doctors are quack doctors. and this fallacy this appeal to authority fallacy this is what even tucker carlson tried to do like he tried to argue that COVID-19 was overblown in california and he cited these two quack doctors who use like a skewed sample size uh, and their own research and it was it was very clearly just like sketchy anyone can see that if you just listen to them and th they always try to appeal to authority now i don't trust like the overwhelming majority of doctors but these doctors like these kook doctors that tell me exactly what i want to hear um you know they're the ones who we should trust the same is true for climate change right we're not supposed to trust the overwhelming scientific consensus. We're supposed to ta trust like one or two scientists who were paid off by ExxonMobil or who conducted a, a study that was paid for by ExxonMobil. We're supposed to trust them, not everyone else. Like it's it's just it's irrational thinking.
Doctors, and a lot of them, a lot of them have their merchandise where they're trying to sell like the, to the wellness industry. So first of all, so if you're an epidemiologist and you're an immunologist, you're qualified to speak about COVID. A lot of the doctors speaking about it are not really doctors, and they claim to be experts. A lot of them are just PhDs. No, that's not true. Uh, what you get? Look, so there's, a, there's, there's an epidemiologist or immunologist that actually thinks this. The inventor of the mRNA technology, Dr. Robert Malone. You can look it up on BitChute. Robert Malone is a fucking Quack. How come? Robert Malone, he didn't invent that mRNA. How do you know? So uh, let me go back so you can read that. So um, they looked at they, they looked him up. He wrote one paper on it in 1989. He had no direct role in its development. Yeah. Um, and by the way, besides like the quack doctors and whatnot, they will find someone who doesn't have expertise to debunk what the overwhelming consensus is among immunologists or epidemiologists when they're not experts. Like, it's a very narrow field um, of people that we should be listening to. But anyone who has, like, PhD or doctor in front of their name, just automatically, it's like, well, we got to listen to them. Yeah, yeah. As Mr. Anderson says, this one 32-year-old study says so. So we should definitely take that one seriously. I, I mean, Jesus Christ. How do you know? Because I've, I, 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 I embarrass people like you all the time. I research. I embarrass people like you all the time. I know every like talking point. You all claim to be independent thinkers. You all get your information from the same place. You all believe in the same exact thing. It's and it's usually Facebook memes. It's usually Facebook memes. Facebook, swear to God, is like the biggest uh, propagator of misinformation when it comes to everything, basically. Um, it's it, and he Walter is right. They all get their information from the same place. And nowadays, like before, it used to be good to encourage people to do research. Nowadays, when you tell people do your own research, they end up getting you know duped into believing some dumbass anti-vax website, falling for Facebook memes. So when he says, oh, I do my own research, right, y your research, meaning that you go to like infowars.com, uh, you find memes on Facebook that boomers share. Um, so it, it means nothing now. Like these people are there. We need like some sort of media literacy training. Like maybe they should teach it in school um, or maybe it should be required because people don't know. Like they come across information and if it seems legitimate enough, they'll just take it at face value. If there's technical words that they don't understand or even know how to pronounce that fly over their head, they'll just think, well, it sounds smart. So I'm just going to have to you know, uh, trust them. But it, that's that's not how it works. Using big words and scientific sounding language, being technical, that doesn't mean that it's correct by definition. Like, you're not, that's not independent. Wait, there's a war on our freedom, there's a war on language, there's a war on our medical freedom. That's what we hear, dude. You know that in order for a, a virus to not spread, like a certain amount of population has to take it. And that works for everything, like chicken pox. Take what? Every, every virus has a reproductive rate. So COVID's what, 75% reproductive rate. The trouble is all the virus reporting is... Um, uh, you're talking about VAERS. Fa fa falsify, yeah. You're talking about VAERS. Yeah, vaccine so, okay, VAERS, this, let me explain VAERS to you. So I could call in VAERS right now and say I took the vaccine, it made me turn into the Incredible Hulk. And they're going to post it, VAERS is going to post it immediately. Then they, they're they going to corroborate it, obviously. But just the just the basic raw information that of me reporting it is posted on VAERS. This is your mind this, on freedom. This okay. is your mind. Walter has been to so many of these rallies that he knows exactly what to say like that. As soon as they say something, he knows exactly what they're referring to. He debunks it. Uh, this is really, really good. Like, this is important. By the way, folks, if you haven't already, uh, Walter Masterson on YouTube, it is absolutely criminal that he only has 16,000 subscribers. Go subscribe. Tell him that the Humanist Report sent you. Uh, I want Senpai to notice me. Uh, because I am, I'm such a huge fan of him. He is so brilliant. Like this, this is a Chad, folks. Mind on freedom. It's your mind it's on a freedom. Very right smooth here. brain right there. <laughs> what do you think? Do you understand satire? You know, I do see the American. Uh, <laughs> I see you. I see you. Wait, wait, wait. What? No, I, I think anti-vaxxers are, are, are dumb and everything like that. But I'm here peacefully pro protesting your protest. Uh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not here to cause violence. 
That's good. Me neither. I'm not here to cause any violence either. So I don't show up to do violence or anything like that. I show up to make comedy. And anti-vaxxers are a really excellent source of comedy. I really, I appreciate you guys. You're a really, you're really good comedic partners. And like every time I go to these things, like there's just so much comedy that comes out of it. You're a pro-vaxxer? Yes. When did you take the vaccine? Um, I took it a few months ago. Good luck to you. Good luck to you for sure. Why are you? Why? Any, any no kind of side effects at all? I mean, I was really tired for the first few days. How many doses you took? Like one or two or what? I took two doses. Two doses? All right, for sure. I mean. Wow. Good luck to you. You took the vaccine. <laughs> we'll see how that works out. It's your funeral, bud. Yikes.